on Thursday, that strong easterly to northeasterly wind spreading along the coast uh, to the coast of the Eastern Cape, blowing 50 kilometers per hour in East London. It's still extremely hot in the west and later winds picking up. So the Weather Service warning against runaway fires. We do have this coastal low that might bring in a few morning showers or even a thunderstorm for the extreme western parts of South Africa. And then a north-northwesterly wind causing bergwind conditions for the southern parts of the country. This is caused by a steep upper level trough that's going to bring down thunderstorms from the tropics over our neighboring country, Namibia, later parts of the northern Cape, northwest Free State, and also thunderstorms likely over the Karoo, as well as as far west as the Winelands in the western Cape. Due to all the cloud, as well as the possibility of thunderstorms, you'll most likely have an average PV harvest on your solar panels over most parts of the country and poor in the extreme eastern areas due to cloudy conditions. Our rainfall probability map is showing thunderstorms as mentioned as far west, possible here over parts of the Swatlands, the West Coast District, mainly here over the Winelands, and a very slight chance of a few thunderstorms moving over the coastal areas. Most of the scattered storms will move here over parts of the central Karoo, as well as down from our neighboring country over the northern areas of the Northern Cape. And that's where the South African Weather Service has issued a yellow level two warning. A few of those storms could likely become severe produced hail or a quick heavy downpour. Quickly becoming sizzling hot on a Thursday in the Western Cape, 37 degrees in Worcester as well as Robertson. Due to the heat and enough moisture, that's why isolated storms are likely to develop here over parts of the West Coast District, the Swatland, as well as the Boerland. There is a slight chance of a few of those storms moving over the coastal areas. Then it's going to be extremely hot in the Karoo due to berg winds with the mercury close to 40 degrees. Also 30 degrees along the coast, windy at times with an easterly wind blowing fresh to strong and becoming strong along the coast of the Eastern Cape, especially in East London. A mainly sunny day, it's going to be extremely windy, 28 degrees and very hot over the rest of the Eastern Cape with the mercury soaring to 36 degrees in Kumani. A mostly cloudy and foggy start your day for Kuzirin Natal and then later it's going to be comfortable with temperatures in the mid to upper 20s. Also some cloud and fog the morning hanging over Mpumalanga. Later, it's going to be a comfortable afternoon with maximum temperatures in the mid-20s and 25 expected in Bombela. Some cloud on a Thursday morning in parts of Limpopo. Temperatures expected also in the mid to upper 20s. And then there's the possibility of a few showers moving over the extreme northeastern areas in a parts of Toyandu as well as the surrounding areas along the escarpment. It's a partly cloudy day for northwest. Temperatures in the mid to upper 20s. A few thunderstorms likely to reach the extreme western areas. Then we've got that strong upper level trough that's going to bring down thunderstorms over large parts of the northern Cape on Thursday, becoming scattered here over close to Upington, and that's where the South African Weather Service has issued a yellow level 2 warning. A few of those storms also likely to move over Kimberley and the bordering areas of the Free State Province, but otherwise it's going to be a partly cloudy and hot today with temperatures around 30 degrees. More main halting on a Thursday, partly cloudy skies with 26 degrees in Johannesburg, 27 in Pretoria, and a very slim chance of a quick shower moving over the high fault. Then overnight into Friday, a thick band of fog expected to move over the west coast as well as in the mother city. The probability of thunderstorms shifting a little bit more eastward here over the central part of the country is still extremely hot in the crew due to berg winds and isolated storms likely over Halte. And then on a Saturday, we're still expecting foggy conditions here in parts of Western South Africa. But otherwise, it's going to be a sunny day in KwaZulu Natal. The southeaster will later blow strong in Cape Town and isolated storms expected over the central parts of South Africa, later moving over northwest and southern Halte. Well, that's all from me. And remember, no matter the weather, we're in this together. Introducing the Volta 700X Portable Power Station, your ultimate companion for power on the go and compact utility for camping, home or office. Stay connected.